Alright guys, we are closing in on an encounter with Dress, which is, well, it represents the asteroid belt. It's just one little rock. There's uh, no other asteroids. This is the only one. And uh, I've been trying now for about an hour and a half or two hours to get an orbit on this sucker, and it's just not going to happen. We, we are so low on fuel now, it's just not going to happen. We're also going way too fast. <laughs> we're going so ridiculously fast, it's insane. So, what we're going to do is uh, get an encounter, which is going to be close enough for us to run a whole bunch of science. Not close enough to get the good science, but we'll get some science out of it. We'll do something, right? We'll, we'll turn this probe into as good a little probe as it can be, send him off with a bang. Well, maybe not. He may just orbit forever. Alright? There we go. All right, now we need to do some retro burn. Give us as much time as we can to do some sciencey stuff. Sturf, sturf, and things. Sturf. Pocket. Okay. Wonderful. Where is it? I don't even see. There it is. Hey, what's up, dude? You see him? You see him over there? Oh yeah. It's cute. All right. Let's do some sciencey stuff. Let's see what it says about the dress. Ah, high space over dress. The goo feels right at home here. Oh, I bet it does. Send that shit off. What about the uh, the science junior? Ah, radiation and painting the rocket. That same crap again? Come on. You gotta come up with something new, Mr. Science Junior. Come on, more science. More science. Yeah. Oh, this is all about science now. I see the little asteroid over there? It's such a tiny little thing. That's the problem is we keep getting close to this guy. Like, we're, we're actually pretty close to it, right? We're 32k off of the damn thing. But there's nothing we can do to get into an orbit around him. He's just, he's so tiny. It's still high space. Yeah, we have to get way closer than this to get low space. More science. More science. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this for a while. Oh, I have a periapsis now. 4,000 meters. I have a periapsis. Are you shitting me? I have a freaking periapsis. <laughs> Um, I have a periapsis. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. How close can we actually get without, um, without crashing on this sucker? Because it looks like we should probably go a little bit higher than 4K. 4K seems, um, you know, collision worthy. Goal? I just want to get the, um, the low orbit data. That's all. Preferably without colliding with it, but if we do, we do. Yeah, the goal is science. <laughs> it just takes a few minutes to uh, get all the science that we can squeeze out of it, right? Oh, it's beautiful. That is just a beautiful thing. Oh my god, look at that. We can actually do a one minute retro burn and get orbit around this sucker. Look at that. After all of those calculations that we did in the last like two hours or two and a half hours, here we are just accidentally doing this crap and we're going to get a nice orbit. <laughs> it's hilarious.
This is beautiful. I love it. We are going to get so close to this tiny little asteroid. Still high over Drez. Wow, they are really demanding for this tiny little asteroid. They want you to get so close. I mean, I guess it's fine. It gives you a, a nice, um, a nice challenge. I mean, I fucking lucked into this, you know? This was definitely not by design. We designed to get close to this thing, and we thought we were going to be, we thought we were going to get our high altitude data, and that was it. We did not expect to get uh, this close at all. Thought we had no chance in hell. Let's try under 30. Nope, still high over dreads. 30 is still high over dreads. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Still high over dreads. Wow. 25? Near dreads. So 25 is the cutoff. 25. 25 is our cutoff. Well, that's okay. We're going to have lots of time down here. Maybe make three or four orbits. Get all the data. Try not to crash. Shouldn't crash. Oh, this is glorious. Look at all these datas. Oh, man. Freaking science. Oh, man. If, if Jeb was here, he would be sciencing in his pants right now. It's amazing. 35 seconds, we need to do our burn. There we go. Still good on fuel. Come on, you son of a bitch. Wrap around. Give me that orbit. <laughs> We're orbiting an asteroid. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good. Stupid line. Get out of here, you stupid line. Slow it down. Slow, slow. Beautiful. We'll stop. We'll get, we'll get about 10k off the surface. That'll be close enough. Beautiful. We are in orbit, people. Ah, oh, glorious. If Jeb was here, he would be smiling. But he's not here. So, the asteroid can smile for Jeb. And at Jeb. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. This was well beyond our expectations. For this, uh, for this uh, drone, we did not expect it to perform like this. I thought I was gonna chuck it at uh, Duna, and that was it. This thing is amazing. A little bit of luck, a lot of freaking hard work from me and everyone in Twitch chat. <laughs> it's like I have my own Houston here, or Baikonur. Okay, so now, let's see if we can't do one last stupid little thing.
even better than that. <laughs> Lol. That is insanely stupid. Bye. Bye. Just use prograde? Alright, prograde it is. And then what? Just get out of... Just get out of orbit of uh, the asteroid. And then once we have the purple... The retro... Yeah, we won't have enough retro, will we? Oh, we can try. Okay, let's go ahead and do that burn. Coming up, uh, we just passed it. Perfect. All right. Angle, d no, angle down. Oh my God, angle down. And uh, burn. Seventeen seconds. Okay. Good enough. Okay, so that's going to take us out. Come on, leave, leave the asteroid alone. Now burn retro at Apple. Okay, Apple, Apple, Apple. I don't know which one we're gonna be. This one. <laughs> oh, that's dress. I want dress. <laughs> Whatever, just time warp. So we get the apple. Bye, Drez. Bye. And our final journey into the warmest place in the known galaxy. Well, in the Kerbin galaxy, anyway. Which contains nothing other than other than a few planets and a couple asteroids and a star. Still high over the sun. Useless. All right, we'll speed up again. I don't want to go too quick here. Getting pretty close to this thing. Still high over the sun? Near the sun. Bingo! We are there. So 605 kilometers is close enough for near the sun. I love it. We're going to get all this data, baby. Yeah. And I bet our... Uh, let me turn off SAS. I bet our solar panel is going to pick up a whole lot of wonderful solar radiation for all this uh, electro stuff that we need, right? Stay like right there. Beautiful. I got lots of science to do here, baby. The sun. Oh my god, we are at the sun.
this is a little probe that could, I tell ya. He is just a master of getting science. No, I don't think I unlocked everything. I'm sure we unlocked a lot. <laughs> I don't know how many thousands of science we're going to get, but it's going to be a lot. This one probe has been amazing. And the interesting thing is we did all of this without any crew. So we did no EVAs, which means less... Which means less science. We also had no crew reports, which means less science. And obviously we didn't land anywhere, so there's no soil samples. But I mean, all, all we did was we had the little science box and a goo. One goo, one science, and a transmitter. That's all we did. And now, the end of my favorite little probe. My only little probe ever. And he did so much good work for Kerbin. By my probe. Oh my god, it's so bright. It's so bright. Look, sunspots and sh I saw sunspots. Look at that. Sunspots down there. Wow, it's actually hard to look at the screen with that thing on there. Wow. Oh wow, look at this. The surface is actually not that bright. Are we just gonna orbit this thing or what? We're at 15,000. Oh, 15 million. Holy crap. We are way, way, way above this thing. And the sun will slowly now rise up and consume us. This glorious beast is about to bite the dust. Goodbye, my Mr. Probe Man. My Probinator. Poof! He has probed his last probe. I think we can abort. Flight results. Uh, the Stay Putnik Mark 1 exploded due to overheating. Aw, man. Total mission time. 3,125 days, 13 hours, 3 minutes, and 10 seconds. Highest altitude achieved. Okay. Highest speed achieved. Okay. Uh, ground distance covered. A lot. Distance traveled. A lot. And the most G-Force, 2.5 Gs. Great. Let's go check out how much science we got out of that one little probe. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, okay. Well, 3,000 3, science. I thought it was going to be more than that, actually. But 3,000 science out of one probe? I'll take it. Hell, that unlocks a whole lot of shit, don't it? We got rover parts. We got advanced science tech. We got electronics. Large electrics. I mean, these things aren't cheap. 550 for that. We got large control. State of the art and control technology. Specialized construction, supersonic flight. Uh, we can buy all this stuff now. We're freaking amazing. Anyway, I think I need to call it a night here. So thank you guys for joining me today. The stream has been amazing. I've learned a hell of a lot. And uh, thank you for helping me along my way. Um, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.